Hey guys, we're here at Bread Poets on Fair Avenue. So excited to be here. John was gracious enough to let us get a little behind the scenes look. Yeah, absolutely. We're talking to John Lee this morning, and uh, obviously, what are we doing? We're making bread, and we're making a lot of it. So, John, why don't you just talk to us a little bit about the process of what goes into to all of this? Okay, so we've had someone here since four in the morning that make up the dough. The dough rests for a while, and at a certain time, we'll pop the dough up on the table. Uh, we're going to scale it out, which basically means weighing it. Then we're going to mold it into the final shape. Some of them go in square pans, some of them are oblong shape, and we just kind of keep rolling from one dough to the next. The employees at Bread Poets are early risers just like us, making fresh bread each morning. So the process starts by using a bun and dough divider for different portion sizes. For the loaves, they use a molder to shape it. After that, it's time to roll out the dough. And we were even able to get our hands on a few loaves they were preparing for the day. Yeah. So we want that seam on the top, and we'll kind of pinch the ends and then pinch the top like this so the seams together and then I usually just kind of pull them in from the end in and then I just lean into it kind of with your shoulders and you just kind of go back and forth. You're doing fine. So we're just kind of working the dough out and we're trying to make a, a loaf about this size. So you'll see I'm a little bit longer and then when I get down to here I'm just going to kind of shape, just do a final shape okay like like so from the poet's white to the ancient grain Alyssa and I tried to perfect our shaping skills after that the dough is dipped in egg wash just sliced and then ready for the oven Alyssa and I decided to leave the shaping to the pros but we could step in if needed 